Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls. Now, when I was editing the uh, last few videos, I did notice that there's an area that we haven't actually checked out yet. And that's down here. I'm wondering if we have a little look through here. Are we going to find... some more ammo and stuff because um, there's a whole area down here. Yeah, because there was an enemy in here. Uh, we can't really fight the enemy because we don't have a torch. We actually ran away from this area. So let's go have a little look in here because if we're going to fight this boss, I kind of want to have as much stuff. I'm guessing he's a boss. Like, it's not going to be daddy, is it? Now, it's through this door here. And I'm I'm also thinking that we've lo uh, missed some files somewhere. But, you know, we're probably not going to get all of the files. Just because, yeah, the service area here. Yeah, there's an enemy here too. Right, so we've got a file here. So it's a little man running around in a wheelchair. Uh, 15th of September, 1970. I was sitting on a hill under a big leafy tree. How long was I there? I could smell the grass and hear the sound of leaves dancing in the wind just over my head. Small shapeless figures were moving, moving side to side over my white dress. White dress. So that's not... A, is that Maria? I could hear a weak voice travelling with the wind. I did not understand what it was saying. I didn't pay much attention to it. Uh, a snake crawled up to me, hidden in the grass. It gave me no time to stand up, wrapping around my feet and climbing up my leg. I tried to scream, but the snake had already sunken its fangs into my flesh. I felt the poison burning its way through me. I winced in pain and let the snake fall away, lost in the grass. The pain got stronger and stronger, and the voices that were only whispering in the wind became clearer. Their sounds turned to syllables, syllables to words. The pain worsened, and the sun, which was bright and warm before, became cold, surrounded by a stainless metal halo. The words turned into people who surrounded me. One was holding my hand. Push, Maria. Push. Uh... Okay. Right. Where's... Where's the chap? Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Grab the nails. Hey, dude. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's cool. You can take your suppressed rage. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Look at that shit. Right. There we go. Now we can fight this fucker. Right, let's... Ow, that hurts. See if we can finish him off. Move. Ow, that hurts. Oh my god, that hurts. This might not have been the best idea in the world. Alright, okay. Could that could have gone better. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, fine. Oh. Oh, look at this. So what's in here then? There's doors. Ooh. Oh. Oh Another part of the shotgun. Where's the, where is this? Right. So, we haven't been to the shower room or the laundry. Ah, look. There's another. So, we need something to cut that. Okay. Aha! Done. 
fucking lush. So we've... Right, so that's the downstairs. Have we been in the... Sh we haven't been in the shower room, have we? Now, we need to be very careful not to miss any diaries because... The diaries are kind of dumping out some import important information here. Right, so that's... Public restrooms. Which are there. Oh! Don't really have any way of fighting this chap. Oh, we do. We actually do. Right, there we go. Oh, you absolute bastard. Okay, this wasn't what I was hoping for. To be honest, because... Come on. Yeah, that wasn't what I was hoping for because we've actually gone into this area and we've... Uh... Oh! It's only two parts. A shotgun made from modified items. I mean... Yeah? Uh, okay. Only holds one shot, I'm guessing. So we've got ten shots. Yeah, this isn't going the way I was hoping. I was really thinking we might find some goodies in here. But in actuality, all that's happening is we're losing... I mean, well, I guess we've got the shotgun. Oh, another diary. Young Child's Diary. 15th of September, 1980. I'm guessing this is us. Young Child, I don't know. Late one night, Grandfather Noah came into our room. He was where He was accompanied by two strangers... Wearing leather suits that covered them entirely. Ah, that sounds like the chap that we've got to go fight in a minute. They used their smelly leather hands to cover our faces, preventing us from crying out. We were left almost unable to breathe. They took us to somewhere underground and put on strange cross-shaped metal beds. Our hands and feet were tied with metallic bands. A group of the suited figures surrounded us, all of them covered by the same material holding giant hammers. Uh, in the center of the room was Grandfather, watching everything. Although he was not wearing a suit, his mere stare terrified me. He came close and laughed. My dear granddaughters, he said, it is time for you to finally fulfill your destiny. Emma couldn't, yeah, so Emma couldn't stop crying. She begged him to let us go. But he moved over to the door and ordered the suited men to get us ready for the ritual. Everybody left the room except for one suited man. He walked crooked and slow, slower than the rest. He smelt worse too, the smell of sewage. He came to us with a small tray of tiny metal vessels. They were filled with liquids and aromat aromatic oils. He began unbuttoning my blouse when Mother suddenly entered the room and hit him with a metal bar. <laughs> what? He fell to the floor. She rushed over to free us, but the suited man got back up quickly and raised a dagger behind Mother's back. I wanted to scream out to her, but I could barely move. Right at that moment, a shot put him down. Another man, also wearing a suit, had shot him from the entrance of the room. He came towards us with his hands raised and took off part of the suit covering his head. It was our other grandfather, Bertram. He worriedly asked Mother what she was doing down here without a suit. Oh. She said she had come to save us. Grandfather told her to take us to the surface and get to the town port where something would be waiting for us with a small fishing boat. So that's how we disappeared. So they were going to do some weird voodoo to us. And this place is like full of radiation or something. And that's how we disappeared. And I'm guessing that's what made mother sick. Oh, 
Okay. Are there any other rooms in here? We've been to the public restrooms. Uh, so the shower room. Fucking hell, guys. I'm glad we came down here. Locked from the other side. So the shower rooms are locked from the other side. Oh, hello. We can't... Not really sure how we're going to get past this guy. Can we just, like, crack him over the head a couple of times? Right. Okay, so we can't do anything here. So, even in the darkness... Alright, so even in the darkness, you can't... Oh. Can we... Uh, there's no candles there, apparently. Is there no... I guess her face doesn't look too bad up close. C will we die if we run past that guy? Probably. Okay. Well, uh, we're just going to have to remember that that's there. So, yeah. So, even if it's dark, you still can't actually... Uh, attack anything. She just says she has to get away from the darkness, which is curious. Okay, well, I mean, let's go. We don't have any health, which is worrying. We have absolutely no health items whatsoever. I don't think, anyway. Which is bad. Curious about this shotgun, although we don't have a lot of ammo for it. We've got 10 shells. I thought that that was going to be, uh, I thought there was going to be a lot more parts, uh, at least like three or four parts to that shotgun. Alright, let's go. Let's go back upstairs. Hang on. Have we screwed the pooch here? Yes. How's this going to work? Uh, the bolt must still be upstairs then. Hopefully we can't set ourselves up into a situation where we're screwed. I wouldn't have thought the game would be that savage. But we got out here somewhere, somehow, so we can get back in, right? No, that... Oh, hang on. Right, so that's what that did. That other door powered both of these. Got ya. Uh, tempted to throw down a save? Question mark? Um... We've got three save tapes. I'm, yeah, let's go save it. So, I'm wondering if somehow we can either power the lights... Nah, I, I can do this again. It's not the end of the world. Oh, I don't really want to waste a save tape. Right. I'm guessing the shotgun's going to be quite powerful, but I, I, I guess we're going to find that out in a minute. Um, that was close. Yeah, that was close. Okay. Is it Anastasia room that we need to go into? This is the disinfectant room. Yeah. 
really paranoid that we're like that we're missing things. So there's some kind of radiation involved in this game. And they were trying to do weird things to us. Uh, okay, here we go. Operating room. Is it a waste? To, ooh. Is it a waste to use this? This is the blood of the chosen twins. So... Maybe... Our other twin is dead, perhaps? Oh... Okay. That's bad. Ah, there's something floating off in the distance there. Right. So now we've opened up this side. Where's the man? Where's the man that was stomping around? Body appears to be operated on multiple times. Doesn't even look human anymore. Who's doing this? So that's what's going on here. They are creating monsters then. Unless we need to turn the lights out. I guess we need to turn the lights out. So what's what's the point in coming here? That thing I was wondering if that thing's going to come back to life. So what did that do? Why do we want to turn the lights out? Uh, okay. Unless any does anything change in here? Unless anything changes. Unless something changes in the um, observation room, maybe. Let's go have a little look. See a man in a radioactive suit walking. Right, because that isn't what we see. Hundreds of years ago. The that yeah, we know that. The shape. That sounds. Okay, so what? I mean, the game's basically given us a shotgun for this point. Right? So... Why? So we can't do anything in this dressing room. No. Ah, right, hang on. Maybe we can, actually. Maybe we can. Let's try this shotgun. Can we aim at that thing, please? 
Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Holy hell. Oh dudes, that's that's fucking sick. Yeah, alright, I'm a fan. I like that. Right, we'll take that. Oh man, I mean they made the boom good. 15th of September, 1975. Maria insisted on having a huge celebration for our little girl's fifth birthday. Uh, even my stubborn father joined us. It appears that the girls have changed him in a good way. <laughs> I don't think so. Everything would have been perfect if it were not for Noah, Maria's father. His cold stare makes the girls uncomfortable. And the crude way he treats Maria makes me uncomfortable. So he's the one that was doing the experiments, right? If the old man thinks he can keep abusing my wife as he did when he she was a child, oh dear, or dares believe he can do the same thing with his granddaughters, he is mistaken. I will protect my wife and my daughters from anyone who would seek to do them harm. Interesting, because I was assuming that daddy was the bad guy, but seems to be that the granddad was the bad guy. That's interesting. So the dressing room. Doesn't appear to be anything more in here, but we do have another door that we can look into. Uh, doesn't appear to go anywhere, though. Door unlocked. Right. Okay. So. Mm, so we've got a light that we can turn on and off. But. It doesn't seem to do a huge amount. To be honest. I think there's some... Oh, yeah, look. There's a, there's a fellow in there. Hanging. So there's still that... Uh, something to do in the operating room. But what? The only thing I can think of is there's a mirror or something. Or so maybe something that we can... Maybe a mirror that we can go into to get into like an alternate world around here. Body's badly burnt. Yeah, we know that. What's our health like? Fine. Yeah, so unless there's a mirror here, that might make sense. Kind of. Is there a mirror here though? Doesn't really look like it. There's got to be something we can do here. There has to be. I mean, we can examine him. Well, there's nothing we can play with. And turning the lights on and off doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, guys, right. One second. Leave it with me. I'm going to have uh, a little look around. Okay, so I think I did a dumb. I did actually have to look this up in a guide, and it's pretty obvious. We've got to walk around this operating table. 
a few times, apparently, in the dark. But we might be going the wrong way around. Because you have to go a certain way around. Yeah, I think we're going the wrong way around. Right, so let's go this way around instead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're agitating him. Apparently this is a new type of enemy. Yeah, he looks like quite a big burly boy, actually. Let's go flick the lights back on. Um, right. Glad we've got our shotgun. Yeah, I don't like using guides, but if I have to... Oh, God. Ow, that's going to hurt. Really glad we've got this shotgun. Can we... There we go. Ooh. I guess he's not quite down yet. He is now. Right. So that gives us that. But he was a bit of a burly bastard, wasn't he? That's actually a really satisfying reload. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not, not happy that I had to look that up. And I kind of feel really stupid. But, you know. It is what it is. So that gives us a scalpel. Okay. Uh... Ah, I know why we can use that. Well, I know exactly where we can use that. We could probably use that to cut open the, um, what would you call it? Think. Stupid brain. The basement. There's a little hatch in the basement, wasn't there? Right, I'm going to actually drop a save here, guys. Because I think we've accomplished a bit. And we've only got a couple minutes left on this video anyway. So, okay. Yeah, that was kind of... I don't know what just happened. Really obvious. There was a dead creature lying on an operating table. It had blades for hands. After circling the body three times, it rose and tried to kill me. I found an old scalpel. The priest told me it would have been used in the basement morgue. Ah, right. There we go. I should find some leads about the girls there. So, we're going to the basement morgue next. Okay. Now, I also found out another thing. We want to stay in the dark. Not really sure what the hell kills us there, but we actually get an achievement for that. Death. Okay. Right. Well, I guess when we come back, we're going to be going to the basement. I'm hoping we get some kind of torch or something. Well, I mean, I guess we don't really need it, but unless we can find some way of turning the lights on down in the... Uh, um dark area that we was exploring where that little fellow attached to the wall was hopefully we can sort that out and I'm still not really sure 100% what's going on like is this going on in her head or is is it like 50-50 not really sure but I'm enjoying this it's fun it really is quite good um, the shotgun the shotgun's very satisfying <laughs> very satisfying so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching and as always 
Till next time.